Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be looking at Palantir. This stock has recently crossed over that $40 per share mark, which is a huge milestone for this company. Now this gives a year-to-date growth at a, over 130%. So a lot of people right now are freaking out saying, okay, this thing's going to go to $100. And then you also have half the people saying, no, this thing's going to sell off 50% and go back down to $20. So we're going to be looking at what's going on. Should you buy? Should you sell uh, this company? So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And if you guys want to learn more about investing, trading in the market, check out our school. You guys can use code PLTR to get 50% off for one spot. I'm only doing it one time. So check that out down below. We have private live streams, quizzes, lectures, a group chat. We talk about how to find undervalued stocks. Literally, it's a one-stop shop for all of your trading and investing needs. So check it out down below and guys, let's jump into this here. So Palantir, you guys can use code PLTR for 50% off as you guys can see right there. Boom, boom. Let me make myself a little smaller. All right, let's jump into this. So what is Palantir? So Palantir is a public American company that specializes in software platforms for big data analytics. This company works with huge corporations. That's how this company makes money. It's not a business to consumer consumer company it's a business to business company so company people like you and i will never use palantir at least for now um this company needs a lot of data to run through their ai system for their for their analytics that's why we'll see companies like meta like amazon like the department of defense corporations with a lot of information use palantir now what have we seen? We've seen some very, very decent growth out of this, right? Year over year growth is 27%. But more importantly, why we're getting a lot of buying pressure is because we, we've seen two things. The revenue for, for the Q3 of 2024 is expected to be anywhere from $697 million. And this would be a big jump from the $678 million. Not to mention the full year guidance is now between $2.74 to $2.75 billion, which seems like so much money. Yes. But right now, this company is worth over $90 billion. So in my opinion, right now, you are paying a pretty premium for this stock. So we've also seen, let me move myself back to this side. We've also seen the revenues per year growing at a good rate, right? Since 2020 was the first time they crossed over a billion dollars. Then in 2021, a 41% increase, which is really good. Then a 23% increase, slowing down a little bit, 16% slowing down a little bit, and now 21 percent increase. So I really think, yes, we're seeing a lot of great growth out of this on the revenue side, but in correlation with the stock value, I, I think that right now it could be a little bit of a little bit of a bubble, I should say. Not to mention, I think that one of the main reasons why people are buying Palantir is because they're net profit. Uh, you guys can see that in the past quarter here, we've seen a increase of 376% increase year over year for the profit for Palantir which is a good amount of money. So at one point, actually in 2020 and 2021, the company was unprofitable. They became profitable in 2023. And then we've seen some good growth here. You guys can see it went from 0 0.2 billion to 0 0.4. So pretty much doubling, right? Pretty much doubling here the, the, the profit. Now, we haven't seen the full year of, of 2024, but with the increasing in guidance, uh, with the increasing in the net, uh, you know, the, the net income in the previous quarter announcement, I think that we could see some very, very, very good profit. Not to mention, looking at this, the company is still continuing to grow at a very good rate. Palantir received an $100 million army contract. They've also seen a $33 million deal with the Pentagon. So does this correlate with the 140% year-to-date return that Palantir has seen going from $15 to $40? In my opinion, I think right now it's just a high growth, 
high risk, high return. Uh, the intrinsic value for Palantir, so this doesn't mean that this is what it should be worth. This means with all the fundamentals, with everything, not looking at the future growth, this is how much the stock should be worth. And that's $7.56. This calculator is actually in our course. So check that out. It, it really, really helps, you know, determining a good entry price for positions. And that's $7.56. So the question is, is are you buying it? Yes, we've established that Palantir is a high growth, high risk, high return stock. But looking at this chart here, you guys can see that great upward trend. Today alone, the stock has squeezed up over that $40 mark, hitting all time highs as we speak. So for me, I think right now, I'm not gonna go heavy in on a position or anything like that. I've been, bu I've been buying Palantir for years. I think right now could be a little bit of an over, overvalued point for the stock. And I think that a very realistic price would be in between 30 and $20. Right in that range, if we do get that dip down, that could represent a very, very good opportunity to buy Palantir stock. I also think, I also think a good strategy is to dollar cost average it. Invest consistently so you can get a good average price for your shares. So looking at this, you guys can see the chart here hasn't been the greatest, but that good growth in the past year. So let me know down below if you guys are buying it. I have shares, so I'm not picking up anymore. But uh, you know, I, I think that if it does dip down, I'll buy some more. And uh, yeah, so guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.